This video is about dots options. I'm going to go over the order in which things were placed on the canvas. First, this red bar was placed on the canvas. Second, this red pattern was placed on the canvas here. Next, this circle was drawn. That's the outline of a circle. Next, something happened that was invisible. Option 14 created a sub canvas using this circle pattern. What that means is that there's no longer the entire canvas for placing things. You can only place things in this sub canvas. After the sub canvas was created, this green pattern was placed here inside the sub canvas. And the last thing that happened was this green bar was written down here. Now, the sub canvas lasts only for one pattern being placed in it. So when this green pattern was placed in the sub canvas, the sub canvas disappeared. So this green bar down here is here just the same way as if it had been written on the canvas without there being a sub canvas. Well, you're asking, why don't I see this whole pattern here? Why do I only see it when it's over the red? That is because when the dots option was used, it used option one. It said dots, this pattern, and then as the option of one. Option one means, in this case, green if over red. I am using green to mean anything that was put on the canvas after the sub canvas was made. Red to mean anything that was on the canvas prior to the sub canvas being made. So here we see that option one says those things afterwards only if they were over something that was already there. That is option one of dots. Now we'll go to option two. I've changed it to option two. Now it says there'll be no red at all, meaning anything that was on the canvas prior to the sub canvas is gone. Notice there's no red anymore. Green shows if it was over red. In other words, the new pattern will only show here if there had been something on the canvas prior. That is option number two. We go to option number three. Here's option number three. It says no red, meaning anything that was there prior to the sub canvas is gone. Green shows if not over red. All right, so our new pattern is only at places where the red didn't exist. All right, that's option three. Option four. Now, option four is what normally happens. Green is placed over the red. Because the red was written first, then the green was written, it went over top of it. That's the way things normally happen. That is option four. Option five. 
Green, if not over red. Red replaces green. All right, which is to say green, which is the pattern that we put after the sub canvas was made, if not over red. Well, you can see that's where the red was. Red replaces green. So on our pattern, where the two of them were, red comes forward. It's not behind our pattern, but in front of it. That is option five. Option six. If both colors red shows, that is to say, if what was on the canvas prior is now covered up with our pattern, that is what shows. That's option six. Option seven. Option says there is no green, which means our pattern doesn't show anywhere, but green erases red. In other words, wherever our pattern went, it became transparent. You no longer see what was on the canvas before at the positions where the new pattern was placed. That's option seven. Next is option eight. Option eight is really neat if you realize that what was in the background is now in the foreground and the pattern we made is now in the background. So you actually could place something behind something that's already there. In other words, this pattern got be placed behind everything that already was on the canvas. That's option number eight. Option number nine. This one brings in a third color. If green is over red, red color is changed. So this pattern went over top of the canvas. Wherever there was already something on the canvas, it changed to this new color. I realize it's hard to tell that from the actual background color we're using, but these colors are different because if green is over red, the red color changed. That is option nine. Now we're not going to show option 10 because it doesn't work. You can ask JavaScript why it doesn't work or ask the browser people, I don't know. We'll go right to 11. Here, option 11. Again, in this one, everything that was on the canvas prior is erased and our pattern the new pattern <laughs> shows. So you erased everything else. And option 12. In option 12 it says if the green is over red, red becomes transparent. So what that means is you can see through it wherever the two colors were it's now transparent. That is option 12. This is the end of this dots video.